actually mortality rates are falling. They fell 7% uh, year on year from the last time we did the report. So that's really good news. And we do see that in general, year on year mortality rates fall. At the same time, we still see very wide variations. So there are a, a, a large number of trusts that do have higher mortality rates than we would expect to see. Now, there can be diff there can be various reasons for that. There can be sometimes it'll be about I mean, maybe to do with the, the way they've recorded data. But in general, the sorts of levels we're talking about very high mortality rates. It's a good indicator that there may be some underlying problems with that hospital. I think we can see part of the explanation in some of the other information we include in the guide, which looks at some of the the practices and the processes and the ways hospitals manage patients. So to take a, a, some simple examples, for example how many patients are scanned if they have a stroke within 24 hours of arrival in hospital, that's, that's best practice. How many patients who have broken hips are operated on within 48 hours, again, best practice. Now, it's been known for a long time that if you do this, the outcome for the patient, their survival, or, or how well they get afterwards, it, it, it is, a, is affected. You, you wait too long and, and the outcome can be poor. And we see huge variation in the degree to which hospitals are able to meet these standards. What we'd like to see is is, is patient safety being taken as, as one of the, the top priorities. We think the reason we're focused on it in this report is because we think without that, it, it, patients, patients that's the least they have a right to expect. And so we do want to see it a priority for all hospitals. Uh, it's interesting to know, for example, that uh, it's not a, a standard um, uh, board report in 10% of, of hospitals. That suggests that not all hospitals have quite made this the priority that we, that we think they should have. Similarly, um, not all hospitals have acted on alerts from the National Patient Safety Agency. These are recommendations of things that hospitals should implement uh, promptly in order to reduce avoidable deaths. And again, we're seeing that some hospitals are taking really too long to get around to implementing these alerts. Further investigations, I, I, I don't think this is really about, I mean, in the case of Basildon, I'm very, it's, it's great to see the, the regulator acting very promptly. but. What we're, we're we're less about we're, we're less interested in, in in the issue of, of investigations and, and and concerns about failing hospitals and the the more general point that this is an issue for all hospitals and the, it needs to be a priority for all hospitals and there isn't a single hospital in the in the country as indeed there is no single hospital in the world that could claim to have a perfect patient safety record so there's room for improvement everywhere we think the methodologies we used have probably been tested more rigorously than than, than almost any other uh, uh, methodologies out there. There will never be agreement as to the right way, and there isn't, to be fair. There's no final right way to measure a hospital. There's, there's, there, there will always be arguments about this. We think the methodology we use is uh, the, uh, the first rate, and we think the, uh, the information it provides is enormously valuable in helping identify where there are problems. The one thing we do know is that making this information public, raising awareness of these issues, does make care safer, and in the end, that has got to be the top priority. We, we do see very wide variation between hospitals with some with very high mortality rates, but Against that, we've seen hospitals that have had high mortality rates make dramatic improvements in mortality rates once the issues have been identified. A great example is Mid Staffordshire Hospital. Six months ago, the, uh, in all the newspapers and on all the news programmes, for a report that was condemning the quality of care in that hospital, and a hospital again which had had very high mortality rates, over the, it, it's now reduced its mortality rates by a third and has made enormous strides in improving the quality of the care that it delivers. If you're going into hospital to have a particular condition look, looked at, what matters to you is not the, these big measures of how well a hospital is performing, what matters is that that particular that service. And, and the, the right thing to do is to talk to your GP. It's certainly something the public has a right to know and should be aware of, but they, they certainly shouldn't panic about it. Or, 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 or but, but it is something that they should, should bear in mind, and, and, and there are many websites such as NHS Choices, Dr Foster's website, that can provide more information.